All right guys, welcome to a new video. So it's no secret out there right now that gas is ridiculously expensive and with DoorDash only paying two to $3 per order, that could be pretty concerning. So I did what any wise man would do and I rented out a Tesla. <laughs> I rented out a Tesla for three days so I didn't have to pay gas. I'm gonna share with you guys my experience with the car and tell you whether or not I think you should hail to Elon Musk and how much money you could actually save. Now don't get me wrong, there's definitely cheaper alternatives and there's hybrids out there which are arguably just as good for a lot less than the price tag of one of these babies. But a Tesla has always been my dream car so of course I decided to rent it out for the purpose of this video. Well boys, we did it. We're in the Tesla crib, let's go. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys when I get home though no no recording and driving i am at a red light i promise see guys it says it's oh it's green fuck well guys we're in the crib now we're in the tesla and today we're going to be seeing if it's worth it to do gig work in this car but at the end of the video i am going to go on a breakdown of how much you save on gas wear and tear things like that so to start the car you actually have to take the card and put it under here i guess it's on i didn't even hear anything well, he's got a nice car I keep going to reach for my stick shift. That's, that's not there. Well, not stick shift, but the shifter. It's not there. Anyways, I thought, why not just do a little bit of DoorDash in this car, you know? It's a car that costs more than what I make in a year, but, <laughs> but uh, you know, let's do some DoorDash. All right, guys, so I started my dash, and I'm going to cherry pick a little bit harder. I feel very nervous driving this car during DoorDash, but I'm not going to do it for like $5 or something, so. Uh, but let's see what we get. Well, apparently there's games you can play in the meantime while you're waiting for orders here. A uh, racing game with the actual steering wheel. So as you can see, this is the car I'm driving. Um, I'll be the bikini girl because she's cute. You know, we'll do performance because I'm ready to whoop some ass. Oh, wait, I actually use this. Do I, do I use this? Actually, look at this. I actually use my steering wheel and my and the gas. Dude, I don't know how to do this. Oh, this is such a Mario Kart ripoff. Ski! Oh, shit. Oh, oh that's the wrong button. I thought maybe, <laughs> I thought maybe that was the power up. It was the fucking windshield wiper. Hope we got an order. Oh, what's the order? <laughs> no! Go to hell! Anyways, I think I lost. You definitely lost. Six out of six plays. All right, guys, very first two offers. It's a stack here from Applebee's, which is just right there. And they're pretty decent. The first one's all right, but the second one's really good. So it ended up being all right. And uh, yeah, let's go pick it up. Uh, <laughs> I just can't believe I'm dashing in this. But anyways, let's go pick it up. Let's go back to the Tazzy. You think Elon Musk's ever ordered DoorDash? Probably. If you see here, Kayla was actually delivering all the orders I picked up because it was her account I was using. As she's a top dasher and me not being a top dasher this month, I was unable to schedule it all. That's why top dasher is so important where I'm at. And I am gonna be going for it again here in a few days. So that's gonna be fun. Look forward to those videos where I, where I take $2 orders going 13 miles and contemplate running my car off the road. But I definitely won't be taking every order in this car. That should be illegal. So I've got a few offers here that are just really, they're honestly not that bad. I mean, I would probably take both of these right here normally in my own car, but if I'm driving a Tesla, I am not gonna take anything below $6. That's just the rules I'm setting, the Nugs rules. Permission granted. Oh, am I allowed in the Tezzy? Yes. Oh yeah. Just for flex, get the Tesla in their picture. Look at it. Oh! <laughs> They're gonna be like. All right, guys, so the last order of this shift, I was gonna do maybe a few more, but this order is absolutely massive. It's $54 now, it's 43 miles. I know what you guys think, and probably shouldn't take that, right? 43 miles on a Tesla, but it's $54, and that's round trip, because a lot of those orders are within the same area, and sometimes it's not even the 43 miles it says. So I'm confident I can do this in less than two hours, which will be really good pay. Uh, but yeah, let's go do these. So, do you want this in the front or the trunk? Let's do the front! Oh yeah, baby. All right guys, we're on our very last Walmart. So in total, this took a little over two hours. I think it intentionally routes me the longest way possible, which is kind of annoying. But a little over two hours for 54 bucks, that's not bad. 
Driving the Tesla was a really fun experience for me. But is it worth it to deliver food in this car or any EV in that matter? Well, I'm just gonna present the facts and let you make that decision yourself. So let's talk about the price of entry. Like I said, there are other cheaper options, but today we're talking about the Tesla Model 3 and it's the standard range plus, I believe. Now let's remember, we're fucking DoorDash drivers. We're not in real estate. We're not, <laughs> we're not rich, like we're DoorDash drivers. So it is a very expensive car to get into. The Tesla Model 3 starts off without autopilot at like $46,000. Whereas something a little cheaper like the Nissan Leaf, which is another electric vehicle, might start off at 27,000. So obviously a very pricey car to get into. So obviously gas being around on average close to $5 now, filling up a full tank of gas could cost you anywhere from 60 to $100. However, from my experience with supercharging the Tesla, it only cost me about 10 to $12. Some places even offer free charging, granted at a much slower lower rate. And charging at home is something that's even cheaper, but I, I rent, so that's not even a possibility for me. Now, if we just look at the averages here, the, the yearly maintenance cost for a Tesla Model 3 is just $282. The highest maintenance cost you're gonna have for a Tesla is likely changing tires, but that's pretty much the most expensive thing you'll have to do. So with electricity and wear and tear on your vehicle combined, this is an average of seven cents per mile that it costs to drive the Tesla Model 3. Whereas the government says that an average gas vehicle cost 58.5 cents per mile to drive. This means it is statistically 88% cheaper to run and maintain a Tesla versus a gas vehicle per mile. <laughs> you made fun of me? Well, you're worse. <laughs> Dude, I'm just drifting. <laughs> I'm just fucking drifting. I'm Woman moment. Dude, this is how I drive in real life. It's pretty <laughs> accurate. <laughs> We're just toying around. You got the emissions testing mode and you can make it where the left button right here if you press it. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's fucking epic. Here's your two dollar food. Every time I take a no tip order just Alright guys, got this Instacart order here at Kroger, wherever the building is right there. So let's go do it. 30 34 bucks? So this means it kind of almost pays you in a way to drive more miles if you're using a Tesla. You still get to write off the 58.5 cents per mile as a deduction while only costing you seven cents per mile, meaning you can take longer distance orders that normally would cost you a lot more, but since it's only seven cents per mile and you get the full write off, you could even get a refund in your taxes driving enough miles. Apps like Instacart and Shipt, where you drive considerably less miles for what you make, car costs would be next to nothing. Not to mention some states even offer incentives for driving electric vehicles, but mine does not. I'm Ohio, I'm corn town, cornfield. There's no fucking incentive. So it's sort of a trade off. You know, you might be stuck in debt, $40,000 of debt and a $700 car payment, but you'd be saving a lot of money in the meantime. So really pick your poison. I think if this is something you can afford and you do have a house where charging is not an issue, obviously you save a lot of money on the miles you drive. But for me, me, as hard as it is, I'm still gonna have to pass. I already drive a fairly fuel efficient car with about 30 miles per gallon combined, and I don't need a $700 car payment as a 21 year old kid. Charging is not an option for me. There's two superchargers in the area, one that's 30 minutes north in Dayton and one that's 30 minutes south in Cincinnati. And yes, there are non superchargers in my area, but they just take four hours to charge and it's just, I, I just don't have that kind of time to sit around. So I would have to drive my car 30 minutes in one direction just to get it charged and then drive 30 minutes back Back, draining another 10 to 15 percent of the battery it's just it's just not worth it for me it, it hurts to say that because it was really nice driving this car but i don't need it all right guys i'm pulling out to my mom's house i'm not going to record her but uh but yeah i'm pulling up i'm gonna show her a few things about the car uh basically just me trying to justify uh get approval to buy one myself although i don't need one and i shouldn't buy one so if you see me in a month from now and i'm driving one go ahead and dislike the video because i don't need one <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> so in total doing gig work in the Tesla, in five hours I made $108.78 and I drove 93 miles. This 93 miles cost me $6.51 in both electricity and wear and tear, yet I still got to write off $54.41, making my take home after expenses but before tax $102.27 and my take home after expenses and tax at $88.68. So this is a real job hourly just over $20 an hour. But as I said,
said, I am gonna have to go for Top Dasher again in June. This month I haven't been doing nearly as much DoorDash. I've been focusing a lot more on Instacart actually, just because I can't get scheduled without Top Dasher. I didn't realize how necessary it is, but I am gonna be going for it in June, no excuses. So that's gonna be a lot of fun. And by fun, I mean torture. But anyways, I'll see you guys soon. And let me know what you guys think. But yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Dash on.